Today I'll be going through a full guide on how you guys can get started on Kick. We'll go through creating your Kick account, connecting it to OBS or Streamlabs, adjusting your stream settings to the best quality, and a few bonus settings at the end of the video so make sure you stick around for the whole tutorial. I don't want to waste your time so let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is obviously create your Kick account. Go to Kick.com and you can go to the sign up button in the top right. We're going to click that and here you're going to enter in all of the information to create your account. With your account created you want to go to the top right and click on greater dashboard then you want to go to settings and then profile and here you'll be able to switch around anything within your creator profile this includes adjusting the profile picture by selecting edit avatar and then you can select upload from local device or select one of the presets you can also add a custom banner to your kick account as well as a channel offline banner that will appear when your kick account is offline additionally you can change your username but do be be warned that you will have to wait 60 days in order to change it again and you can also adjust your bio by going to edit and typing in a custom bio and lastly you can connect all of your social media profiles to display on your kick account which is always recommended so your audience can find you on different platforms the next thing you'll probably want to do is set up two-factor authentication this is going to secure your kick account and make sure that in the case that your password does get leaked you won't get completely hacked already with our kick account created let's get on to the fun stuff and this is going to be our stream key right here and this is going to be how we're going to connect kick to obs or streamlabs obs now these are the two most popular platforms to stream on they're very similar with an almost identical ui if you're watching this tutorial i'm going to assume you're either a beginner or intermediate to streaming so we're going to run with streamlabs obs as i find the ui is a lot more user friendly so you just want to select download streamlabs desktop and and install the program. Alrighty, with Streamlabs OBS opened, you may be asked to go through a setup guide. Alrighty, once you get past the setup, the next thing you want to do is go to your settings, which is going to be in the bottom left here. And then you want to go to video. On video, you want to ensure that you're on 1920 by 1080 on both the base canvas resolution as well as the output scaled resolution. Additionally, you want to ensure that you are on 60 frames per second. The downscale filter is optional. However, However, I recommend going with by cubic 16 samples or the 32 samples option depending on how good of a computer you have. Now really quick before we go on to the next step, comment your kick account below and I'll make sure to follow it. I'll also have my kick account linked in the description if you wanted to follow me as well. Alrighty, the next thing we're going to do is actually connect kick to our Streamlabs program. And the biggest misconception that I see a lot of people doing is they go to log in and they go to select a platform and they see that kicks not there and they get frustrated what you want to do is actually go to settings go to stream streaming services custom streaming server and here is where you want to enter in your stream key so going back over to kick we're going to want to make sure we are in settings once again you can navigate to settings by going to your profile and then selecting settings then we're going to select stream key and here is the stream key in which i'm going to copy now you can copy it by by just pressing the copy button right here and it will copy to your clipboard make sure not to show your stream key to anybody as if they have access to your key they can stream whatever they want on your account so with our stream key copied we are going to go to obs in our settings and we are going to paste in that stream key the next thing we want to copy is the stream url from kick so we're going to go to the copy button once again and then go back to Streamlabs and paste that url in then we can select done an optional thing you can choose to do is selecting the use authentication button and you'll be able to type in the username and password to your kick account however it's not mandatory alrighty now we're almost ready to go live however there's a few more settings within streamlabs that we want to add so the first thing we want to do is have a scene now you're probably going to have a default scene called scene and you can use this scene if you would like or you can create a new scene by selecting the plus icon and and entering the name of a scene. I'm just gonna call this one tutorial. And now when I switch from scene to scene, it should go black to the scene on the screen. Now the next thing we'll wanna do is add the source to our game. So we're gonna go to sources, and then you're gonna wanna go to screen capture. And this is how you're going to add whatever video game or program that you plan on streaming. So we're going to go to add source, and then we're going to select the add a new source instead 
instead. And I'm just going to call this video game tutorial. Now, as you can see, we have the three different monitors that I have in which you can select, or you can also select automatic and it will look for a game automatically to stream for you. Now, I just selected screen one, which has my game on the stream and we're going to select done. Next thing you can do is add another source and this could be your webcam and you can do this by going to video capture device and then add source. You can also add a source of an audio input capture. I'm going to call mine mic 2 and with mic 2 you can select the device in which sound plays out of. So here you can connect whatever microphone you want to use. You can also add a additional sources like text, color blocks, browser sources and these are all found in the source tab. Now you should have a microphone, desktop audio, and a webcam along with your game playing in the background. And the last thing you need to do is select go live. Now as you can see my kick stream is live and here you'll be able to see all of the chat as well as mod actions, the activity feed, and a few different options like turning on followers only mode, slow mode, emotes only chat, 18 plus chat, and you can add some block terms to your stream. You can also go to the edit stream info option and adjust the title, the category in which you're streaming, and tags which is coming soon as well as the language and the maturity level. If you're interested in adding some type of chat rules you can go to community and then go to chat settings and here you can adjust the rules within your kick stream. You can also go to moderators and add mods as well as adding custom emotes for your kick stream. And lastly there's the achievement and this page will show you all of the analytics on your stream and how close you are to achieving the affiliate status or a verification badge. So that's going to conclude this video on how to get started on kick from start to finish. If you enjoyed it, subscribe to the channel. I'm really trying to hit 100,000 subscribers and also follow me on kick. Link will be down below. I'll make sure to follow you back. Just comment your kick account. Also, if you see anyone else commenting their kick account down in the comment section, go and follow them, support them. We're all in this together as smaller streamers. And on kick, you only need 75 followers in order to achieve the affiliate status. And then you can start earning money through subscriptions and other revenue options. This is why we should all support each other in the comments section. So I'll definitely be following everyone who comments their kick username. I wish you the best of luck in streaming on this brand new platform and hopefully it can overtake Twitch as the number one streaming platform. But that's going to do it for me. I hope this video was to the point and didn't waste your time. Have yourselves a fantastic day and see you later.